Good afternoon. My name is uh, Professor Sushil Putatunda. I am from Wayne State University College of Engineering in Department of Material Science and Engineering. I have been in Wayne State for quite some time and my main research area is materials development and uh, microstructure property relationship. I will be presenting here about a new high strength nano steel which we developed here at Wayne State. I will be talking about that today. And my partner, my co-worker will be a graduate student, Sasanko Nalikuppam. Uh, existing steels currently which are used in automotive or structural applications uh, do not, uh, is not, are not strong enough and too heavy to meet the fuel, future fuel economy and cafe standard. And so therefore they contribute significantly for environmental pollution and poor corrosion resistance in existing steel makes them uh, to take extra precaution for corrosion resistance and extensive corrosion protection is needed in those steels. So the, the developed nanostructured steel have extremely high strength and high toughness together with a very high corrosion resistance and this will lead to about 30 to 40 percent weight reduction in structural component and automotive components. And what is our major customer segments will be steel producers. In addition to development of this nano steel, we also pioneer development of a new heat treatment process. So which will be useful for heat treaters also, which will reduce their cost and time uh, for ostempering heat treatment. So therefore, uh, this can be two customer segments we have, steel producers and heat treaters. Main users of our steel will be auto manufacturers and auto component suppliers. And what are the what will be the benefit of this steel? It will give it a lightweight and high strength automotive components with improved durability, improved corrosion resistance, improved fuel economy to meet current and future cafe standard. And here we have compared some of the traditional steels and other nano steels which are in market and our steels which we have compared here property wise and their cost wise. Uh, our steel has got a extremely high strength and very high fracture toughness. The corrosion resistance uh, also we measured by on a limited scale in laboratory and that showed very good uh, promising results but extensive corrosion testing needs to be done to stand uh, to verify that again. And uh, we have, uh, based on this table, it's, it shows that our steels are very, uh, has very attractive and desirable properties, high strength, high fracture toughness, high corrosion resistance. Moreover, the biggest advantage is processing is very simple compared to, uh, compared to other nano steels which are in market. And market size we see that US Department of Energy projects by 2018 there will be advanced high strength advanced high strength steel use will be about 30 million tons in US alone and the market will be about 60 billion dollars in US in 2000, by 2018. So this is our main market. So our commercialization vision is that the steel composition and advanced heat treatment process both of which we have developed in our lab will be patented and licensed to steel manufacturers and heat treaters and Ford has been we have discussed the some of the results with the Ford Motor Company and they have been shown very much interest keen interest in that and before licensing the technology a couple of things you need to do to determine the hot stamping properties of the steel fatigue test data of the steel and corrosion test data of the steel and also weldability is another prerequisite for the use of the steel in the structural components. Materials are available in our lab, in a lab scale. I unfortunately I do not bring the whole sample. I have got some samples we made and tested. So this material is available here. This is available in lab scale, it's made in our lab. And lastly, uh, this is our commercialization plan. We have to finish those testing 
then we want to have the patent application, patent, apply for patent, get a patent, and after that, next step of our commercialization will be licensing the process. And we are requesting a fund for about $50,000 because you have to melt and cast the steel, then process the steel in our lab to make the and sample preparation. We have to test the horse stamping properties, fatigue testing, approximately will take us three months. Horse stamping properties testing will take us about three months and corrosion testing and some availability testing. So all testing we want to will be carried out in our lab with a graduate student who has extensive experience and familiar with this team. And thank you very much for your attention.